supporters are one thing, media is another thing, but when you start sensing it within your own club, yeah. like what, what are the signs for a coach like, say, a Leon Cameron or a Ken Inkley that maybe you know, those who do make key decisions in a club, yeah. you haven't got their support anymore? It's a really good question. Yeah. You can't quarantine what happens in the general public and the pressure that the media is applying to your club. Mm. There are clubs that are traditionally are strong and can withstand it, and I think we know who they are. And it's historically been clubs that they get shaken and they split open and the coach gets sacked, and we know who they are. Yeah. So, and it's magnified when there's two teams in your town. So for me, it was I knew once we couldn't make finals, but the body language internally. Mm. You, you can see the shift. I've spoken about it. I didn't get picked up. Yeah. To go up to the box, yeah. but you can see. Yeah, but that shift. was right at the end. That was right at the end. But you can. We weeks were earlier, alive. what did you notice about the body language? What do you mean by that? Well, it's just the engagement levels. It's the seeking you out for conversations, maybe on a Monday after a loss, and that support that's there. It just all dries up. Mm. And it's not a criticism. That's just human nature, and people are planning and, and trying to protect their club and plan for their club. And um, but you, you fight and you fight. That's what I would say. I think we'll, we'll get to Leon and hey, we can get to that. Now, we call them coach killers and you've pulled a few out. They're not far away, Port Adelaide, but until you get the four points, you're a long way off, aren't you? Yeah, well, execute. It's the most underrated yeah, stat in AFL footy accuracy. Grand finals are decided on it Well, that goes, that becomes 79 to 50. Is that Kenny coaching poorly? No. It's not, is it? And well, I his job to get it to the position. I thought their round one yeah. performance was yeah. fantastic up in Brisbane. Incredibly tough environment. They were disappointing against Hawthorne. They should have won this game by four goals. So, is Kenny coaching poorly? I don't think so. I've heard people say things are off there. It, it doesn't look that way to me. What I like for Kenny, he's not going to a gunfight with a knife this week. They've got real capability. He can continue to write his own story. I think they're well and truly What is he story. taking to the fight? I think he's taking a very good team. They're, they're dominating, not dominating, they're controlling contested ball inside 50s. And we'll get to it, but they're tall defenders. At some point, you've got to defend. Enough he, pressure's going on. Here's Ken today. We can't hide from the fact the results haven't been what we want. But that's no way of getting out of it is by fracturing, and we're just not going to do that. I get the, um, that everyone would be equally as frustrated as I am. I 100% I agree and, and understand the frustration that goes into any football season. And um, be it lucky or unlucky, I've, I've been around a long time and I understand that the frustrations get big at times like these, but they can quickly disappear if you can just turn things around. Yep. Matthew, I find it extraordinary the heat's come on Ken so early in the season. As Ross said, good performance against a premiership, yes. one of the premiership favourites round one. Things happen in showdowns, we know. I, I can't understand why he has not won over in any meaningful way in the last few years the Adelaide it, public. It was, a horror, Adelaide it was a horror prelim. It was an embarrassing prelim. Yeah, they true. are 0 and 3. Only Essendon have conceded more points than them. And the stats tell you, if they lose to Melbourne this week, they are, say, a one in hundred chance of making the finals. And, and he's been under the cosh, pardon the pun, but it's uh, figuratively and literally. I mean, <laughs> he has, uh, you know, David Cosh has, has always kept a bit of foot on, on yep, the front. That's right. yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's right. okay. And that's nothing wrong with that. He walked into that club, yep. and with David Cosh, and they are an absolute basket mm. case for yep. the AFL. Absolute basket case. He's got them the finals competitive. And can we trust? That yeah. was the slogan. Where's that gone? Yeah. Like, yeah. I understand you're only as good as your next performance. Yeah. And was brave in recruiting. Remember as well, uh, Ross, you know, they went and got those young kids. Mm. They turned out to be great. Correctly, so well done yeah. to the whole system. But when you're the coach and you say, OK, clear everyone out, bring in 18-year-olds, that's a big go. Did that, they that extend sets a club his contract up. last year? Really yeah. simply.